We respect the, the parents' choices. Dr. Lori Kaplan is superintendent of Waterville City Schools, where so far 6% of students in grades 3 through 8 have opted out of the Common Core English Language Tests. She's concerned about what that could mean for the district. We really don't know what the air quote consequences are going to be and we're all kind of at the mercy of whomever is going to make this arbitrary decision. The State Department of Education says parents who opt their children out won't be able to chart their progress, but parents and lawmakers who have helped grow the opt-out movement say standardized tests shouldn't be the only way to come up with those figures. Look, what the parents have said is they want a voice, they want to be a part of the discussion, and they don't want to continue this overzealous usage of a uh, standardized test. As far as federal funding, the SED says any sanctions will be made on a case-by-case -case basis. An SED spokesperson says the federal government takes into account the percentage of opt-outs as well as how many years the district has fallen below the required 95 percent participation rate and why. So far, the department says sanctions have not been imposed on any district in New York, but a district could lose control of how its funding is spent if it consistently doesn't meet the mandate. Even though the number of opt-outs are growing, most parents are continuing to allow their kids to take the test. Because at the end of the day, they still have to take the test in high school. Like, they have to take the region's test. And for this student, who has so far sat through two Common Core exams this week. It's not really that big of a deal. If we all just keep sticking to our studies, I think we could all pass it.